Hey guys, I'm back, giving you a little motivation to get through the rest of the fantasy football season. Uh, sorry I haven't been around, gave myself a little health scare. Thought I was honestly having a heart attack, but I had an anxiety attack um, and some really high blood pressure. But um, one day at a time, I'm bouncing back, so I'm glad to be talking to everybody. And I uh, just wanted to do something quick for you guys to listen to and enjoy maybe take my advice or don't you know I haven't been playing that well so why listen to me but um, interesting season so far Tiska and uh, McLager seven and one the champs vice champs six and two John Michael and Mike Mullen DF five and three Marola five and three Jordan five and three Blair four and four Chuck three and five, myself two and six, Johnny Conway two and six, and Jay one and seven, and um, McLogger and Tiska running the uh, points race right now, sixty points over DF and a uh, hundred points over the Vice Champs and Marola, so you know, good job to uh, Tiska and McLogger so far. Uh, anything still goes. It's uh, anybody's battle. Still some chances to get into the playoffs. But, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes from here on out. With that being said, just going to give you a quick two-minute drill like Chris Berman does. And uh, give you my breakdown of my picks for this week. Alright, here we go. First up, Marola versus Chuck. Keys to the game. For, uh, I think it's running backs on both sides. Marola, he's got Jennings going against the Eagles and Gore against the Packers. Tough run day. Um, Chuck with Kristen Michael Monday night and Terrence West. Um, I think the other key here is Randall Cobb's health from Marola and Corey Coleman, is he back healthy for the Browns and for Chuck? It's going to be a close one, but I think Marola wins this one 140 to Chuck's 129. Next up, Jay versus Conway. Keys to the game. Jay is starting two Saints running backs. Very interesting there. I don't know how that's going to work for him. He is going against a terrible run D in the Niners. Um, I think the other key stat for Jay here, Derek Carr and Michael Crabtree against a pretty solid Denver pass defense. We'll see what can get done there for him. And uh, McKinnon's back, so that could hurt Matt Asiata's stats. So be careful there, Jay. Johnny Conway, Sproles, is he the number one running back for the Eagles? We'll have to see. Um, Russell Wilson and Doug Baldwin going against Buffalo's defense. See how that combination pairs. And you got Guskowski in your lineup right now. He's on a bye. I'm sure you'll pick somebody up, and that should be a fact there. Johnny Conway wins this one, 128 to Jay's 107. Next up, the vice champs, John Michael and Mike Mullen versus DX. And for John Michael and Mike Mullen, I like to be careful. Breeze on the road, not as good as Breeze at home. So be careful with that. And then starting a Tampa Bay running back tonight. So good luck there. Um, not not quite Doug Martin, but we'll see what he can do against his former team, the Atlanta Falcons. Um, you got Be uh, Le'Veon Bell versus the Ravens. Ravens, one of the better... Uh, underrated defenses in the league, so we'll see what Le'Veon Bell can do against them. DF side, you got DeMarco Murray with a toe injury, but it looks like he's going to play. Could uh, Henry steal some of his um, touches? That could be a factor there. Aaron Rodgers, and throwing the ball like crazy. I look to see that continue, and I like that for DF. And then Elliott, clearly we saw him last week against the e Eagles. Uh, should run all over the Browns this week too, so that's a big one for DF. I give DF the victory here, 150 to John Michael and Mike Mullins, 143. Moving along, we got Murph Jr., McLogger, and Tiska versus Jordan. We know Jordan has evidence that he does not like Murph. He snapped him in half over his knee one time. I'll show you that video sometime later, but not tonight. Um, Keys to the game. For Tiska and McLogger, I think Big Ben and Devontae Freeman and Amari Cooper are the big factors there for him. 
while for Jordan, um, first game back for Dante Moncrief, we'll look, we'll luck, look for him um, in that game. Jimmy Graham Monday night, and then you got Julio Jones tonight, who's clearly one of the key pieces to Jordan's team all season. It's going to be close. I give Jordan a victory, 139 over McLaughlin and Tisk is 137. Squeaker. And then finally, it's Dollar Bill versus Blair. Um, I got a lot of question marks for my team. Chandrick West, will he be the starter? Um, will Spencer Ware sit out this week? That'll be big for me if Ware doesn't play. Devontae Booker, bat on a shoulder injury, hoping he can play and get most of the carries and doesn't lose any carries to Capri Bibbs in this one. Then I got Ty Montgomery, bat on sickle cell, um, hoping that he can come in and be a factor for me. And he hurt me last week because I didn't know he was going to be benched and I waited too long to take him out. On Blair's side, you got Jay Jai going against a tough uh, Jets run defense. And you got Des Bryant going against the Browns. He should do well there. Brandon Cooks against a terrible Niners defense. I think Blair's got the advantage on this one. Blair wins this 138 to Dollar Bills 121. So that's my picks. You heard it here first. And uh, I'll just close out with that. Hope everyone's well. And. I'm hoping to get better, and everybody, uh, have some fun. Also, a lot of things to talk about for next year. You got a, clearly a big trade situation that Jordan and Blair I know are upset about. Um, can we break up the duo teams and just go to a 12-team league? I put that to the test for you guys. And also, a little thing that I had to deal with. What if your player should be eligible at two positions? Should he be allowed? Or should we just not even deal with that issue? Some food for thought. You guys think about it. Let me know in a group text or some other way. And I'll talk to you soon.